solving transportation problem using Microsoft Excel. Um, this is a situation where you're going to determine how much is it going to cost to ship material from uh, one place to another. Uh, now it's just not a single point and that's why we have these situations. In this case, um, this is typically a long worded problem, uh, but um, I extracted all this data. Um, I'm going to explain how to read this table. So basically, um, the it cost about $6 to ship um, one unit from Kansas to Chicago. It could be a ton of potatoes or corns or some other materials or um, juice, uh, anything. And from Omaha to Chicago, it costs $7. From Des Moines to Chicago, it costs $4. So you're going to ship material from Kansas City, Omaha, Des Moines to Chicago, St. Louis, and Cincinnati. And these are the cost given for that. And this is the supply and demand. So this Kansas City produces about 100 units. Omaha produces 200 and Des Moines produces um, 300 and also this is the demand Chicago needs 250 St. Louis need uh, 150 and Cincinnati need 200 so this is uh, the data now first thing you need to look at is uh, we're going to use Excel to solve this problem Excel has a function to do that very easy um, but I'll show you step by step the first step is to find out the uh, do we have what is the total uh, supply and demand in this case it's same so you can use a function called sum which will sum all the numbers uh, so these are the supply I'll delete that and then demand you're going to find out all the demand um, we need to understand this because later on when we uh, solve the problem, Excel will ask uh, this information in the solver, are they equal, unequal, or something like that. So we're going to basically prepare this uh, to use that solver in the Excel. Um, so to that, do that preparation, uh, we need to do. So first thing we need to do, I'll copy this data sheet in a new sheet and name that as clean data. So I'll name this as clean, clean data. So the way we clean it, um, there are a few steps so to use that solver. First, we're going to move this cost somewhere right here. And then the way, and then we also check the total supply and total demand. And then we'll use Excel to see how many units we're going to ship from Kansas to Chicago. The solver starts with zero and then um, it will determine the optimum number of units that can be shipped from one of these places to another. Um, so we're going to need a column called shipped and then sum all of these shipped from Kansas City to this three city. I'm going to copy all the way down for Omaha and Des Moines and then we also need the amount of demand um, the stuff going to Chicago from these three cities and then copy all the way down and we need a uh, cost function so um, Excel will basically in the solve but it will replace this zero with the optimum number of uh, material going from for example Omaha to St. Louis so you start from zero however this will be filled by some other numbers so the cost from Kansas City to Chicago is six dollar to calculate the total cost simply you multiply the amount shipped from Kansas City to Chicago which is zero at this time but solver will find a number for us and then this dollar value I'm gonna do a little bit shrink so I can like that or so So all costs are done and we need a cost objective function. So uh, we determine, minimize the cost, basically sum of all of these numbers. Um, 
so we have all these costs so what we did is basically if you look at this we we multiply the number of items shipped from kansas city to chicago times the cost is six dollar per unit so that's the total cost and we sum all these costs here so we are ready to go now uh, run the solver now before you run the solver because this number will be replaced by the optimum size you won't have this data clean data anymore so I'll keep this clean data in case if i want to modify something or i miss something or there was a mistake so i will um, keep that clean data and create copy to a new sheet and call that solution and then you have if you are in your home tab you have to be in data tab and once you are data tab then you can click on this solver now you might not see this solver the way you can bring it you can right click on the ribbon customize ribbon and then x add-ins and then go to excel add-ins and then in your case if you don't see the solver these boxes is not checked so just check that box and hit ok it will bring solver here and then uh, there is another way you can bring it you can go to file uh, options and it will bring the same window add-ins excel add-in uh, same stuff so solve bar click on the solve bar we're going to solve this um, uh, problem we're going to minimize cost and objective function is our cost so we're going to optimize this cost cell 9 b9 and then we're going to change excel will change this value and then we'll add two constraint for this in this case now our the amount shipped will be exact same as the amount produced because um, the supply and demand is same and then we're going to add another constant amount shipped is equal to the equal to the um, demand so we only need these two constant it's gonna we want it to run the simplex linear programming algorithm cost minimize we got everything set up so if we hit okay it will produce uh, the result it will say it found a solution we want to keep it or not um, if you forget to um, copy the data you can cancel it copy the data again and then we'll I want to keep it so this is the solution for this problem now there could be a multiple different scenario here first of all let's see if we have done this correctly or not so let's calculate the um, supply oh i think i like sub b should be supply so supply shipped still something doesn't look right supply double p probably so then um, the supply shipped um, just to verify if we have done this correctly and then demand shipped we'll add demand shipped we'll add this um, the amount shipped so this is the supply shipped we we'll just expand it and then demand shipped these are the demand ship 600 so it's all about did it or we did everything correctly now let's just change this scenario in a couple of situations for example i'm going to copy that clean data to a new page i say you don't have the same supply and demand let's say supply is more or less just say more you have more supply um so um let's make it say 400 so then you have 800 supply and the demand is only 600 so you're not going to be shipping everything so let's see how that solution looks um so i'm going to do solver click on solver we'll still optimize that same cost function we'll minimize the cost changing variables we'll change these variables and then add constant this time we won't be able to ship everything because there is not much not enough demand so shipping will be less than the amount we produce i'm going to add another constant now demand will be the same because it will have the 
same we're going to ship the same number of items now we're going to use this simplex linear programming so in this case um yes so if you have this situation um it could be also you have less demand or something like that you just change the constraint and then it will calculate everything for you i think that's all about the transportation problem